Welcome to Gamer's Platform. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adam Wolf from Gamer's Platform, and today I've got some interesting news. Um, I just found this out this morning, I watched Jim Sterling's video, and uh, it has come to my attention that I may be potentially losing my uh, YouTube partnership status. Now, um, I've I've been on the platform. Most of you don't know. I actually had a channel before this. Uh, it was called Video Game Specialist, and I, I, I mainly just made I, I made like five videos. Um, this was back in two thousand six, and uh, I uh, only made five videos. They were all music videos related to um, video games. You know, I'd pair a piece of music that I thought was cool with a video game that I thought it fit, and um, and uh, it, it was, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, I, I, I liked my, my videos, and actually, this was prior to God of War 2, so my God of War 2 video got over 2,000 views, and that was definitely significant back then. Um, I didn't really think much of it, because I wasn't aware of what YouTube really was, and what it could do for me. So I was just making videos, because my younger brother told me about it. Um... <clears throat> But uh, had I taken it more seriously, I mean, the, the algorithm wasn't didn't exist back then. You know, new creators were actually front and center on the on the very front page. Um, you know, new videos new videos went up because they were new videos. They weren't new videos from the biggest creators. So, uh, but anyway, I'm just gonna I digress. Uh, so technically, I've been on the platform for uh, 12 years now, but um, seriously for eight years. So since 2010, I've been uh, doing my gamers platform. Uh, channel and um, I think it was only a couple years after I, uh, I had applied to be a YouTube partner and was accepted and it was awesome and they didn't really have too many restrictions of course they didn't have a lot of problems on the platform either um, but it has come to my attention that they are now once again making changes to quote unquote protect their platform and so here we have the creator blog sorry I had to click in here we have the creator blog talking about additional uh, changes to the YouTube partner program or yep as uh, Jim Sterling called it yep uh, to better protect creators and uh, you know this is a bit it's not super lengthy but I'm gonna go I'm actually going to read it to you guys I started reading it myself and I was like I should probably just read this um, in the video it shouldn't take too long so I hope you guys are willing to at least sit and um, you know understand what's going to happen um, 2017 marked a tough year for many of you with several issues affecting our community and the revenue earned from advertising through YouTube the YouTube partner program despite those issues more creators than ever are earning a living on YouTube with the number of channels making to over six figures up to four, uh, up over 40 percent year over year in 2018, a major focus for everyone at YouTube is protecting our creator ecosystem, ensuring your revenue is more stable. Okay. As Susan mentioned in December, you know, the woman who's at the head, at the helm now, I think, uh, who's dumb. We're making changes to address the issues <clears throat> that affected our community in 2017 so we can prevent bad actors from harming the inspiring and original creators around the world who make their living on YouTube. Bad actors. So, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Keemstar, all the girls who show their boobs. I mean, I don't know what bad actors they're talking about, but apparently it doesn't matter how bad they are. Those guys are the ones making money, so they take it out on us. <laughs> They take it out on the, the guys who are smaller channels. Okay. All right, let's keep moving. A big part of that effort will be strengthening our requirements for monetization. So spammers, impersonators, and other bad actors, there's that, there's that phrase again, bad actors, okay, can't hurt our ecosystem or take advantage of you while continuing to reward those who make our platform great. Okay. I, so you're going to reward those who make your platform great. So the ones who make you money. Is what you're saying. So all those guys I just named off. Alright. Makes sense, I guess. Back in April of 2017, we set a YIP eligibility requirement of 10,000 lifetime views. Now, 
those of you who've been following my channel for a while know that I've already surpassed that. I surpassed that probably a long time ago. <laughs> but that's 10,000 lifetime views, okay? That's over the course of your channel's life. You've gotten 10,000 views overall, whatever. Um, while the threshold provided more information to determine whether a channel followed our community guidelines and policies, it's been clear over the past, last few months that we need a higher standard. This is what they're calling their new standard is higher. Starting today, we're changing the eligibility requirement for monetization to 4,000 hours of watch time, not views, hours. Okay, now I think that's not it. I'm going to go here to my creator studio, as you can see. Uh, I don't give a crap what you guys see. I mean, people are so worried. Oh, no, no, man, I, didn't have you. I just started remonetizing my videos recently, and I have no. I, I don't. I don't have, like, enough of a viewer base to, to get, get get garner any money. I don't know why I keep stumbling over those words. So I don't care. Um, and so to, like, ch and it says within the uh, last 12 months. So if I go and say uh, for last year, let's just say, I mean, it's January. So last year, January 1st. So this is pretty good right here. We can look at the watch time in minutes. And it, if you hover over it, you see the amount of time that actually shows up is 85 days, 19 hours worth of watch time. Okay, so I've knocked that one out of the park, I think. I think even even if my uh, uh, RAM video, how to uh, can you mix different RAMs, uh, didn't take off the way it did, which thank you again to all of you who watched that. I'm very happy to see that people are interested in that topic. Um, I think I still would have actually, you know, matched that. The only problem here <coughs> is that they have another uh, stipulation and 1,000 subscribers. Now, as a as a YouTube er, as a YouTuber who uh, has been on the platform for over a decade and, um, well, seriously, for the last uh, I don't know eight years, uh, I have a very small. Uh, subscriber base and quite frankly I it's not that big a deal to me because I enjoy making these videos I enjoy the fact that you guys like watching them and would I like to be in a better position like a Jake Paul like a Logan Paul yeah I would but you know it is what it is people like what they like and you know, I'm not the most creative person on the platform for sure. I mean, there's there's channels like Neebs Gaming, the guys who brought you Battlefield Friends. Those guys are fantastic. And their gaming channel is actually taking off and it's, it's awesome to see that those guys can make their living at making something out of all the games that they play, like Seven Days to Die and stuff like that. They don't write a lot of scripts, but they take stuff like Ark and Seven Days to Die and they kind of, you know, go cinematic with it. They, they get different camera angles and it's very, very cool. So, you know, there are channels that are way more creative than I am. Um, I just put out videos that interest me. And it's nice to see that it interests other people as well. Um, <clears throat> uh, we've arrived at the these new thresholds after thorough analysis and conversations with creators like you. They didn't talk to me. They will allow us to significantly improve our ability to identify creators who contribute positively to the community and help drive more ad revenue to them and away from bad actors. There's that other one. They're really landing on thick with the bad actors here. They don't seem to be doing anything about those bad actors, though, if you ask me. These higher standards will also help us prevent potentially inappropriate videos from monetizing, which can hurt revenue for everyone. Hmm. On February 20th, 2018, we'll also implement this threshold across existing channels on the platform to allow for a 30-day grace period. Aw, they're so nice. They give me 30 days to get 800 subscribers. Great. On that day, channels with fewer than 1,000 subs or 4,000 watch hours will no longer be able to earn money on YouTube. So where's the incentive, YouTube, for people to start new channels? That's a point that Jim Sterling made, and it's one I agree with wholeheartedly. What's the point? What would be the point of coming to YouTube? What's your What's your draw? Oh, well, people people are there. That's the only draw to make somebody come here. 
is that there everybody's here but there's no incentive to actually try to get the subscribers and the views if they know that at the beginning they can't just sign up now i understand from a business perspective if you're paying everybody and you're st you're losing money because of your stupid mistakes you got to make cuts somewhere but you know what this this is a bit excessive if you ask me okay and i'm not saying this because i have less than a thousand subs like i just said it's not that big a deal it's just this is you're you're, you're punishing the lower end channels for your mistakes so you know what's the incentive to come here I i'm sure probably gonna start you know i'm definitely gonna start uploading my videos back to twitch again uh, i apologize for stopping that if you guys liked watching that stuff over on twitch <coughs> um i'll start uploading my videos on there again but you know i just don't see the point in going to youtube if you go here and you find out that oh well i won't be able to monetize my videos right away i have to get this many subs and this many watch hours that watch hours that's four thousand hours of people who have watched your videos that's very specific. Watch hours, not just hours, but watch hours. They have to have watched the video or videos. That's a lot of hours. You know, I mean, you could potentially get that in a month if you if people like your videos and stuff. You know, I, we, there have been overnight successes. Um, anyway, <clears throat> when they reach 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours. See, you know, you notice how they changed their, their language here on that date channels with fewer than 1000 subs or 4000 watch hours. And then here they say when they reach 1000 subs and 4000 watch hours, which is it? Is it both or one? Is it one or the other or both? I mean, I don't, I don't understand. It makes no sense. Up here they say and. So it must be and, right? So this is, this is misleading right here. This, this little part right here. Stop. This little part. Or 4,000 watch. That's, no. So, it's, you have to have them both to be in the positive, but you, if you are missing either of these two, we can take it away from you. Not if you're missing both of these, just if you're missing one or the other. Doesn't matter. So, they win either way. Um... They will be re they will be automatically reevaluated under strict criteria to ensure that they comply with our policies. New channels will need to apply and their application be evaluated when they hit these milestones. Though these changes were will affect a significant number of channels. Duh. Ninety nine percent of those affected were making less than one hundred dollars per year in the last year, with ninety percent earning less than two dollars and fifty cents in the last month. That's their justification for doing this to the smaller YouTubers and saying, fuck you guys. You know what? Ninety nine percent of you were only making a hundred bucks a year and only ninety percent of you were earning less than two dollars and fifty cents this you know, the last month. That's their justification. You don't make us enough money, so fuck you. Okay. I've only been on the platform for over a decade. I've been giving my loyalty to YouTube, and this is what we get. <clears throat> Kick to the curb. Uh, to the, you know, those guys. Uh, any of the channels who no longer meet this threshold will be paid what they've already earned based on our AdSense policies. After thoughtful consideration, we believe these are necessary compromises to protect our community. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> you know, and so... the this is this is insanity i mean i was I, I was gonna read you guys the whole thing but then they go into like you know uh core values and blah 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 i mean of course size alone is uh, is not enough to determine whether a channel is suitable for monetization so we'll continue to use signals like community strike spam and other abuse flags to ensure we're protecting our creator community from bad actors there it is again oh man they just they love that phrase bad actors bad actors showing dead bodies in their video that right there alone, in my opinion, constitutes a shutdown. But no, 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 no. He, he makes them way too much money. Because him and his brother came over from Vine or whatever. I don't know. I think lo maybe Logan Paul came from Vine as well. 
And so, you know, they, they make too much money to for us to, like, slap them over the face and punch them in the teeth. I mean, I don't... <clears throat> I, it's this... Uh, as we continue to protect our platform from abuse, we want to remind you all of it. YouTube guy, and then they talk about, oh, this is if you violate any of these, uh, we, you'll be removed from the partner program. Um, <clears throat> I just love how they go about in this this next section right here. While this change will tackle the potential abuse of large of a large but disparate group of smaller channels, we also know that the bad action of single large cha of single large channels. You guys proofread your crap can also have an impact on the community and how advertisers view YouTube. They should have just said, we also know that the bad action of, of Logan Paul can also have an impact on the community and PewDiePie can also have an impact on the community. Why don't we call some of these guys out, you know, for what they've done? <laughs> Oh, they don't want to single anybody out. No, but they're there, and everybody knows. You might as well put it in your article. We'll be working to schedule conversations with our creators in the month ahead so we can hear your thoughts and ideas. No, 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 no. Not my thoughts. My thoughts have jack shit to do with anything. No, you want to hear the thoughts and ideas of the big YouTubers because those creators also speak for us little ones. Because that's totally how this works. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, PewDiePie, Keemstar, none of these guys speak for me. So you won't be hearing my thoughts and ideas. You hear my thoughts and ideas enough on Twitter. Thank you very much. And how sh you guys are. But anyway, so that's the gist of it. That's the entirety of their blog. The, the, the good news. Good news is, if you already have, okay, when... The partner uh, program eligibility requirements are updated on 28, uh, February 2018. Channels that currently have access to these features will continue to have access even if they are no longer in the YouTube partner program, meaning the end cards and whatnot. Uh, so you got to uh, note that your channel currently needs to be in the partner program to, in order to access certain features such as end screens and cards. Excuse me. Sorry. Just had breakfast. Um, so I, I at least get to keep the end card stuff according to this. Okay, whether they hold themselves to that, I have no idea. But as far as I know, just be, since I'm already in the program, even if I lose it, uh, I'll still have the ability to make end cards and end screens and stuff like that, or whatever you want to call them, end screens and, and cards. So that's fine. Now, why am I making this video? What, what, what is the point? I mean, it's already almost been 20 minutes, and this is probably the most boring video ever created on YouTube. But... My my point of making this video is to, first of all, inform the rest of you guys who aren't creators, who just have a YouTube uh, account just so they can watch uh, videos and, you know, thumbs up and comment and stuff like that. Um, but to those of you, you know, I'm, I'm basically, you know, YouTube creators already know what's going on. This came in our email, okay? This came in our email. And I don't know if everybody gets this email. Uh, but, you know, they obviously have an algorithm that specifically talks to you. Um, I think it's important for the non-creators to understand what's happening to the people they watch. And big or small, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Whether this will affect big channels? Don't know. Probably not. I... Logan Paul probably didn't actually get this email. We don't know. Um, and while I've not monetized my videos until late, as of late, uh, I did try early in the days, uh, earlier in the uh, the early days. But when there was copywritten material or it didn't meet YouTube standards or whatever, mostly music wise, um, even if that music was in the game, like it was game music, it was on the original soundtrack of whatever game I was playing, they would still mark it as non-monetizable because it had copywritten material in it. That was fun. Um, it just, the monetization program, the algorithm, everything has been broken. And so this whole idea of taking my partnership away, I don't give a fuck. You guys have sucked for, for years. Not months. This isn't this isn't just last year. 
This has been years of sucking, and you guys just don't know why they don't know why they're here. And I say that because we're the ones who made them. If YouTube started out and nobody used it, they found another platform, they would have been nothing. YouTube would not be here if it wasn't for us and it, if it wasn't for real creators like myself. I'm Like I said, I'm not as creative as some people, but <clears throat> like myself, who are genuine to themselves, who are genuine to the platform and who are genuine to what they know they like to make. And then you've got pseudo creators like Logan Paul and his brother and and Keemstar and all these guys who just make their living off of shock content and stuff that makes people talk about like I, I don't know I don't know how you would categorize their their content I mean Keemstar is all about drama and drama never leaves high school by the way it follows you throughout your entire life um but because these guys and that's not just these guys obviously there's many more of them have um, exploited the stupidity of the norm, the everyday person, and somehow people like watching uh, these guys go to Japan. Not Keemstar, but like you know J Logan Paul, Jake Paul. I don't care. I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna keep saying their names. You know when when they say you know when when Logan Paul goes to Japan and completely disrespects the culture and disrespects the people by doing what he does, and oh that's funny. Or, or or setting up a fake murder scene outside his hotel room where somebody shoots him in the back and everybody's watching him outside. Are you kidding? That's 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 acceptable, apparently. That's acceptable. And there's one point that Jim Sterling made, which was if if there was a if it was a late night talk show in the same position who had said something or done something extremely uh, out of the norm and not appropriate for that TV station, they'd be off the air. They'd be off the air. They'd have no more show, no more show. But what happens on YouTube? Oh, well, we get a, they get a slap on the wrist and boo hoo, Logan Paul's no longer a preferred, uh, Google preferred member. The guy's still gonna make money. The fuck is that gonna do? So yeah, no, uh, this, is, this is all just to weed out those of us who have tried over the years to be faithful to ourselves, to be genuine, to be creative as we can be, be as creative as we can be. This is to weed out all the ones that don't make the money, whether whether it's genuine or not. And and it's sad, really. It's really sad. Now, again, I could give a shit. I don't make enough views to get enough money. I don't really make any money, actually. That, that, this little figure right here, this means absolutely nothing. Okay, it says up from zero dollars in previous period. So in 2016, I made no money because I didn't monetize my videos. Um, <clears throat> and in one year, I made four dollars. So, and there's a threshold for that too, by the way. You have to reach a certain threshold for that. So, um, you know, I, it's not really going to affect me, but I feel horrible for the people who are trying and who will never get a chance after February to experience what it's like to possibly <clears throat> come to your analytics page and look at this number and see just a couple of cents, just a couple of dollars, doesn't matter what it is. You see that and you're inspired. You're 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 driven to move forward. Money's not everything, but you know what? It helps. It really does. I look at that number and I'm like, holy crap, I made $4 last year. I didn't realize I was making money off this, but I wasn't because there's a threshold for that. You have to, I think it was like $10 total. You have to make $10 uh, and then they'll pay you. You have to pass that threshold or $100 or whatever the hell the, the number is. <clears throat> but this, this is a good incentive. You strip that away, what's the incentive for people to use your platform to make a living on? Now it's back to the old days of YouTube where, uh, you know, people are making videos because it's fun, because it, they want to be creative. The only difference is that their videos are buried this time instead of on the front page where they, should, where they belong. I'm not kidding. That's how it was. 
the early days of YouTube, you made a video, it, it was new to the site, guess what? It was on the front page. And people saw it. So, <clears throat> you want to keep YouTube, you want to keep making the rich richer and stomping on all over the little guy, that's fine. But you guys are going to lose a lot of creative people to other platforms. Look at Twitch. I just I, re I just remarked the other day how Twitch used to be all about games and now <clears throat> streamers like myself and the lower end streamers uh, are losing out to people putting makeup on and eating food. Come on, man. Are you kidding? Twitch was all about games. Now it's all about beauty and f and, and and food. I don't I, you know, and 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 IRL. You want to make a real life uh, an IRL video? Record it. Streaming it? You want to watch some you want to watch somebody stream them walking down the street talking to themselves? <laughs> Do that in a video. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't go to streams to watch somebody walk down the street or, or it's like, oh, I'm in Manhattan. I'm at Times Square. Woo! <laughs> uh, you want to see that go to, you know, I, I don't want to watch that being streamed. I'd rather watch that in a video because there's editing involved, you know? Anyway, that's, that's a whole other thing. But <sighs> overall, guys, I think this is just once again... Another giant company just looking at all of us like worker bees for free. And those of us who have been with them for so many years are losing their ability to even maybe have a, a sliver of hope of making a living off this platform. Now, I've tried for years. I don't, I'm not going anywhere with this, but I'm going to continue make, make, making videos because I love doing it because it's fun for me. You know, I love playing Skyrim. I love making my tech videos. I love all this stuff. And I think it's important to love what you do. But, you know, it is nice to think that you may actually one day get paid for your talents as well. Anyway, you know, if you guys, if anybody watches this, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all this nonsense. And what YouTube is doing to the YouTube Partner Program and these changes they're making. And uh, let me know what you think of YouTube. Have they been good to you if you're a creator? Um, as a viewer, how does this, how do you feel like this will affect who you watch? Or, you know, do, do you think this will affect who you watch? You know, will you stop watching the bigger creators to help out the smaller creators? Or are you just going to stay the course and just do what you've been doing? Either way is fine, you know, people have choices, people are allowed choices, but, you know, this is what's happening to the, to the smaller creators like me, <clears throat> is we're being kicked to the curb. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and um, I just hope that uh, maybe YouTube fi figures out who they really are before they lose too many people, and... Uh, you know, lose them to somebody else who might actually offer a better chance at a career. But until next time, I'm Adam Wolf, and I will see you guys in the next one.